Hello, all of my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Today, we are getting back to work on this here carport. As you can see, we have several more pieces of plywood to finish running on this side, and then about six more pieces on the other side up against the house. They've all got to be cut in. I want to get this done as soon as possible, hopefully by the end of today, and get my tar paper laid down and get it dried in, because ladies and gentlemen, it's been several months, but I do believe there's rain coming. This is the sky that I'm looking at this afternoon, and that is looking a little bit ominous. So we gotta stop talking, stop wasting time, and I gotta get to work on this here carport. I would love to have this thing dried in by tonight, so when that rain comes tomorrow, everything underneath here can stay dry. Time to get to work. And this is my kids' artwork. Made from the leftover scraps of lumber. Okay, so here comes the fun part. I've got to notch this piece of plywood, um, something to look like that, and carry it up there, and hopefully, by the grace of God, it's gonna fit the first time because it is not fun bringing that piece of plywood back down to the ground to cut it a second time. Y'all pray for me. All right, you guys, well, I can't do a lot of filming up here. It's just too dangerous. About ready to trim the very tips of this uh, plywood off so that it's laying straight with the apex of the roof, dodging these electrical wires that run just a few inches above the roof. And then I'll be able to sheet the rest of that on that side. And then I gotta go back and just make sure I got plenty of nails uh, according to code. Uh, along the edges in the field of the plywood and then we get to put the felt on and we are dried in all right you guys we have the sheeting all completed still have to go back and nail it all off real good it's just all kind of tacked in really good but I need a bunch more nails in it but I'm gonna come back with the uh, nail gun to do that first we gotta get all this sawdust off of here.
Well, me and Ken are just chilling out here for a minute, taking a short break, enjoying the view. Man, I wish I had a two-story house. Let me show you what I see. This is what we're looking at. It might not look as good on the camera as what we are looking at. Man, that's pretty. Well, me and little man out here uh, watering the garden, getting this corn watered that I talked about yesterday that was looking a little yellow. You know, I went back up to the house and started working again yesterday and never did water these suckers. So I'm giving them a little shot of water. I'm hoping we get some rain tomorrow. Praying for rain. Well, you guys, it's getting really late and really dark. You probably can't tell so much because this camera just happens to be really good in low light. Um, so you see where we've gotten. I didn't get the tar paper on and I'm a little disappointed, but I still have a lot to do. I forgot about all of the blocking that I got to put in between every single truss on every single uh, plywood break. And that's going to take some time, especially doing it by myself. Got to get down, cut a piece, get up, nail it up, get down, cut a piece, get down, nail it up, jump down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton. And then I get done and I'll be able to put the tar paper on. But it is all secured. I got a, you know, I got all the plywood nailed off as best as I can going up the truss, the runs of the trusses. Uh, so then when I come back and do the blocking in between the trusses, I'll throw some more nails in the plywood going through that blocking and uh, then we'll be able to call it done. But it's uh, tied into the house now, it's secure. I was walking around on top of that thing. There's no more shaking or no more wobbling. It feels good, guys. So we are getting really close to being done. And when we get done with that, I am going to more than likely hire somebody to do the roof. I've never done roofs before, although I know it, it ain't rocket science, but we're probably gonna go ahead and hire somebody to do the roof. And then I can start focusing back on my chickens and my rabbits. There's a lot I want to do for them with my chicken tractor and totally change how I'm my, doing my rabbits and my, and my rabbit pens um, and get back to breeding rabbits again. It's been a while since we uh, had any litters and uh, it's that time guys. Getting back to the basics, getting back to the homestead, refocusing my attention on my family, on my homestead, on doing everything that I could possibly do to provide as much for my family as I can for my own property. That's what it's all about, you guys. So I just wanna thank you once again for being here. I really, really, really mean that. Watching these videos, you subscribe, you hit the like button, you leave comments. All of those things help to grow the channel. But I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. So have a great night. God bless you. And I'll see you again tomorrow.